A lot has happened in the Diddy saga over the course of the week. Let's start from the beginning. On Monday, federal agents for Homeland Security raided two of Diddy's properties, one in LA and one in Miami, and they both happened at the exact same time. And yes, they were equally as dramatic. The one in Los Angeles was being filmed by helicopters up in the sky. You could see agents storming into his house with guns raised and guns blazing, basically. They brought out all sorts of people from the home, including two of his own children. His adult sons, Justin and King Combs, were brought out in handcuffs. They were thrown on the grass and they were detained for a while as the agents went in, stormed the place, ransacked it, and collected a bunch of evidence. In fact, we actually got some video of the aftermath of his home and you can see just how badly torn up the place was. They opened safes, they ripped open drawers, they took electronics with them, including computer parts, computer equipment. The feds were clearly looking for any and everything they could get their hands on, and they took it all with them. Meanwhile, in Miami, where Diddy has another home on Star Island, a raid was going on there as well. We haven't gotten quite as much footage from that raid, but we do know that the feds came by land, by sky and also by sea. There's a boat that pulled up on a dock right next to Diddy's home and they stormed the place there too. Presumably did the exact same thing as they did in LA, taking evidence, taking names, etc. Now in terms of where Diddy was for all of this, it was a little confusing at first. There were two different private jet situations going on. His main private jet, an all black one, a Gulfstream 5 that he uses pretty often, was actually tracked to an island in the Caribbean called Antigua. And at first it looked like he was flying to Antigua, landing in Antigua, and a lot of people online assumed that Diddy was quote, on the run or on the lam. As we learned after the fact, that wasn't quite the case. Diddy was not on that private jet. And at this point, there's no clear evidence that anybody really tied to him was on that jet. In any case, we know that the jet was in Antigua, it was grounded, it landed, and it was being dealt with there. In the meantime, Diddy was actually at an airport in Miami. He was about to go enjoy spring break with his kids. He's got two teenage daughters and a small entourage that he was with. They were stopped at the Opelika Airport, which is an executive airport, private airport. A lot of private jets go there. And before he could take off in that private jet, federal agents stopped him with Customs and Border Patrol, Homeland Security, and Miami PD. We actually have photos of Diddy interacting with these agents right there on the tarmac. You can see Diddy and his daughters and other people in his crew talking, being questioned. In some of the photos, it looks like some of them might be getting detained. In any case, we know that Diddy himself was not cuffed during this whole ordeal, but somebody was cuffed. Uh, a guy named Brendan Paul, 25-year-old young guy, who seems to be an associate of Diddy's, a friend of Diddy's. He actually ended up getting arrested during this whole thing because cops claim they found drugs in his travel bags, possession of cocaine, possession of marijuana. That's what he ended up getting booked for. And he was taken to jail and bonded out the next day. Meanwhile, while everybody was kind of getting questioned inside, we got video of Diddy pacing around outside after the fact, and he looked distressed. He looked very nervous but he himself was not in handcuffs and he himself did not seem to be getting questioned all that much either. Fast forward to today and where things stand. At this point, we know that federal investigators have subpoenaed a number of companies tied to Diddy, including charter jet companies, home security companies, computer companies, things that Diddy has in his possession that they think will help them crack the case and help them surface evidence to implicate him in a crime. That's what they're trying to do here, right? In the meantime, Diddy has been off the radar and silent. That is until Thursday when he and his teenage daughters, the ones that were with him being stopped by agents on Monday, they ended up going to Top Golf in Miami. It was just the three of them, little private outing. Uh, there were photos taken of Diddy there and he, he flashed the peace sign. He seems to be kind of telegraphing that I'm good, I'm not worried, I'm not nervous, of course, we suspect that he probably is very nervous. The fact is he is not out of the woods yet. He has not been charged or arrested or anything official just yet, but the investigation frankly is just starting. And we know the feds are digging deep, trying to find stuff. They're interviewing people. They're going through evidence. They're going through hard drives. They're going through surveillance footage and they are trying to get him on these sex trafficking claims that have been levied against him in several different lawsuits. Diddy has denied all of those claims. He's denied all of the allegations made in these lawsuits, but a lot of these lawsuits keep on touching on the same theme, alleged sex and human trafficking, 
including prostitutes. Some of them have alleged that underage people have been in the mix. He's denied all of that, but the feds have obviously heard these claims and now they're doing their own investigation, trying to see if there's any truth to it. And time will tell if Diddy ends up being charged or not. Of course, TMZ will keep you posted on the story and all the updates that happen. Check back with us, stay with us, we're on top of it.